Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a comparison video on the differences between the Mavic 2 Enterprise and the up-and-coming advanced version. Stick around. When designing this drone, DJI has really listened to what you guys wanted. The users of the Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual uh, will be very happy to hear that DJI has now installed an HD thermal camera. Um, the previous version of thermal camera was uh, quite low on its pixel count, whereas this thermal camera actually has 640 by uh, 512 pixels. So it's, it's an HD thermal camera, the kind of pixels that you would expect out of a professional uh, camera for thermal. And also the RGB users were a little bit disappointed to only have a few megapixels, but this camera has 48 megapixels installed in it. Now the difference to the sensors doesn't just stop at the number of megapixels. The thermal camera actually comes with a 16 times digital zoom, with the RGB coming with a 32 times digital zoom. In older versions of this drone, such as the, uh, the old dual version that we have here, uh, the maximum zoom level was sometimes just two times or three times on the Mavic Enterprise zoom. Now with the maximum zoom level on this uh, being 16 times on the thermal and 32 times on the optical cameras, um, that gives you a wide variety of, of new options that you have. DJI has kind of compressed the Mavic uh, 2 Enterprise series into a single drone that fits as many different areas as possible. Now, additionally to the camera changes, there is also a new module coming out. You may remember on the Enterprise versions of the drones, if you remove this cover, there's actually a little port. Now, this allows us to plug in different things like beacons and spotlights and you know, various things like that. Now, the new module coming out is actually an RTK module. So you may know that the M300 systems actually feature RTK, um, and some of the old systems do too. Now, this is a very small module, so puck around this kind of size, um, and will fit directly onto the drone and be plug and play. Now this module will give you much higher level flight accuracy um, and it will connect directly to the RTK network. Now it's only flight, it's not for images, it won't give uh, the, that metadata the extra accuracy on there. So it's just for flight, but it means that if you're doing the same flight over and over and over again and you need high accuracy, that RTK module is going to solve that problem straight away. Now DJI have also made sure that the Enterprise Advanced Drone is also backwards compatible with any of your old modules, such as uh, your speaker, the beacon, and the spotlight. So you guys don't need to uh, worry about any of that. It's also backwards compatible with any of the batteries that you guys might have. Now all you need to do is give it a quick firmware update. This will be done through the app in the drone. Um, and all of your Mavic 2 series batteries will be completely compatible with that. And you've got 31 minute flight time using a battery. The charger is also exactly the same. So you guys don't need to change any of that stuff. Now comparing one drone to another is an easy enough task to do, but how does it affect you in your industry? Let's have a look at some examples of how this drone can benefit you directly. Now the fire and rescue teams who are using the Enterprise Dual in the past are actually going to benefit a lot from the upgrades for this drone. The HD thermal camera in this thing is going to be able to give you the ability to see human sized thermal signatures against background temperature with, with significant more ease. The other added benefits of this drone is if you're looking for safe entry and exit points in buildings or wanting to see how a fire is spreading through a building without the need to enter it, the HD thermal camera is going to give you that capability. This drone is also compatible with the Heliguy Mavic 2 flight cage. If you already have one, this drone will be able to fit straight into that. If not, bundles will be available on point of sale. Now the police are also going to really benefit from the changes to this drone. With the 48 megapixel camera, you're going to be able to use that for a lot of evidence gathering and even on foot pursuit. Now, if you are doing on foot pursuit, you want to be in the air very quickly. And with a 30 second from out of the box to in the air takeoff time, this drone could be perfect for those types of situations. Now, while there are other choices for mapping, such as the Phantom 4 RTK or the M300, with the addition of the RTK module on this drone, you're also going to be able to use it for mapping. And with that 48 megapixel camera, the author mosaics that you'll produce will at least meet the quality of those same drones in a smaller form factor. As with many of the enterprise level drones, this drone is compatible with the DJI Pilot app, which you can find on your smart controller or external device, and will allow you to plan and execute fully autonomous missions. The construction industry was also going to benefit from the thermal capabilities of this drone. 
as it becomes more important over time to build new buildings that have high energy efficiencies, you're going to be able to use this drone to read exactly how much thermal energy is being lost through the roof, windows or walls and give more accurate energy efficiency ratings for buildings. Infrastructure management is also going to be that little bit easier using this drone. Keeping the workflow completely within the DJI ecosystem allows you to query all of the thermography that comes off this camera using the radiometric output of our JPEG. This is queryable after the job is done using the DJI thermal analysis tool, which can be downloaded for free from the DJI website. Now DJI has done a really good job in compressing the Mavic 2 Enterprise series into one very usable platform. And moving from uh, an old version like the Zoom or the Dual to this version will be completely painless. Thanks for watching this video today, guys. It's always nice to have you with us. If you do have any thoughts about this drone, please do leave those in the comments below. And if you can like and subscribe to the channel, it does help us grow. We'll see you in the next video.